today i am going to show you how to create a flutter application using android studio fast and simple here is what we will cover in this video first we will go through the prerequisites second we will create our flutter application using android studio and third we will run the flutter application on android emulator and ios simulator ready let's go all right now let's start with the prerequisites first we need to make sure we have the flutter sdk and android studio installed on our machine and second we need to install flutter plugin for android studio i have already installed the android studio and flutter sdk on my machine so i'm all set for the first one if you don't have it installed don't worry i have already created a step by step video on how to install it so please find the link for that video in the i button or in the description of this video for the second prerequisite let's open up android studio and go to the plugin section make sure the marketplace tab is selected and now here you can search for flutter i have already installed the flutter plugin for android studio so because of that it is showing a check mark over here but you will see a install button like this so click on it to add the flutter plugin for android studio this plugin will also install dart plugin along with it so once it is installed we can head over to install tab and we can see those plugins installed for android studio you may have to restart the android studio in order to complete the installation now we are all set to create our first flutter project using android studio to create the flutter project using android studio let's go to the projects tab click on this new flutter project icon this dialog shows up the flutter sdk installation path make sure it's correct once it is confirmed then click on the next button on this dialog we can enter some details for our flutter project like the project name project location description for our flutter project then the type of project that we want to create like application plugin package etc then we can also specify the organization for our flutter project we can also choose the language that we want to select for our android platform by default over here kotlin is selected but we can also change it to java but for now we will stick with the kotlin language as it is a recommended one we can also select the platforms that we want to support in our flutter application like android ios linux mac os web and windows for now we will just stick with the android and ios platform now let me enter the project name should me my flutter app okay make sure while entering the project name it's all in lower case and the words are separated by underscore character this is just a community guideline that flutter community follows to name the project okay now we are all set to create our first flutter project so to create the project click on the create button we have successfully created flutter application using android studio now let's see our app in action for that purpose let's go to the drop down over here and select android emulator and now to deploy our application on android emulator click on this play button our app is now deploying to see the app on the emulator we have to go to the sidebar and click on this running devices icon our app is now running on the android emulator with the default counter app now it's time for ios so for that purpose let's stop the debugging first and go to the drop down again select the ios simulator and let's click on the play button again to deploy our app on the ios simulator our flutter application is now running on ios simulator with the default counter app and 
there you have it here is your first flutter project all set up in android studio in this video we went over the basics of creating a flutter project using android studio we covered everything from the prerequisite to the step by step process we even deployed our app on the android emulator and ios simulator if you want to learn more about flutter check out my flutter playlist until next time keep coding keep creating and i will see you in the next video happy coding